UK was never one of the big contributors there historically. That was always France, uh, Germany mainly, and then Italy. Uh, UK has upped its game there of late, in part to get more money out. And ESA operates under the juste retour principle. You put X percent in, you get X percent out. So this is a very, uh, this is a very effective way for them to, to get industry money effectively. Uh, and so, Rob, is this why they made the cash infusion? Well, I mean, it. it, it the money, is, this is basically the outflow. They've already right. committed to ESA, yeah. and now ESA is basically awarding, as part of that deal, I was awarding um, e EADS, in this case, uh, money. Now, the Sabre, the, the Sabre program, which is the, the futuristic launcher, that's slightly different. That is basically just an investment in future technology. That's not uh, linked to ESA necessarily. How, I, if you look at the Sabre, this, this is a ramjet stuck on top of a, jet, a, a rocket engine it, with some very cool cooling technology put in the middle. I, how commercially viable is this sort of stuff and how useful is it to, to the UK's sort of science and technology slash industry? I, if you look at Rolls-Royce, a, 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 a lot of spend on, on this kind of technology, but from, from sort of academic to, to, to reality, what's the journey like? Well, it's, it's a tough journey. I mean, what, what they're trying to do is, uh, it's kind of the holy grail in space launch, what's called single stage to orbit, yeah. which is one, one stage, you go, you go fly up, you do your thing, you come back down, you can redo the mission. Unlike the space shuttle, which of course had expendables, and only part of it could be reused. Now, NASA tried this, and it was very difficult. It was a big Lockheed Martin program, yeah. and it didn't work. So uh, ramjet technology uh, is, is ramjet technology is difficult, and just the sheer idea of lifting all this stuff up yeah. and, and getting that thrust. And they say they have an innovative idea that will make this happen. This is the cooling bit. It's the cooling. It's the not having to carry so much of your own propellant with you, so you reduce the the mass requirement. But it's a technical challenge, and uh, if it works. Uh, they may have a bright future.